25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go JPSS-2. Coming up on a minute into flight, the uh, vehicle is ending its roll maneuver, and vehicle body rates are looking good. And passing through 80 seconds into flight, uh, Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And passing 100 seconds into flight, seeing the RD-180 throttle back as expected. Engine response continues to look good, and vehicle body rates continue to look good at this time. Coming up on two minutes into flight, the vehicle is now 12 miles in altitude, uh, seven miles downrange, traveling at 1,500 miles per hour. And passing 140 seconds into flight, the vehicle has gone to closed loop control. Uh, continuing to see stable body rates throughout the boost phase. And RCS is now pressurizing to flight levels. and the reaction control system has reached uh, flight levels. Uh, system response looks good. Uh, vehicle body rates continue to look good as well, um, and seeing good response out of the RD-180 engine. About uh, 3 minutes and 15 seconds into flight, vehicle is now 53 miles in altitude, uh, 67 miles downrange, traveling at 5,800 miles per hour. And now seeing the RD-180 throttle back to maintain a 5.0G uh, acceleration limit. Engine response continues to look good. And we did see a good response on the Centaur systems as it completed boost phase chill down. And we have Beco booster engine cutoff. And we have successful stage separation. And we have pre-start on the RL-10. And we have ignition for the first burn. Uh, RL-10 start parameters look good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison.